Hey guys, just hitting the shoreline here. I picked up uh, 59 nickel, uh, US nickel, some Wheaties, and I got silver. Probably it's just a sailboat dime. Yeah. Canadian silver dime, 1960. See you at the next one. Hey folks, out for a quick hunt today, Wednesday, October 14th. Um, trying the other side of the shore. I've never been over here. I uh, just want to give you a quick look. I actually found something right on the surface, right here. You can see where the mark was. That's a George III. I'll try to clean it up a bit when I get home and show you. Um, just give you a quick walk around here. There's a lot to be found. I'll tell you, just right on the surface. <coughs> Pieces of uh, pottery. Um, and right over here, tide's coming up mega quick here. <coughs> it's an old bottle, a lot of blob tops around here. So I'm going to keep on going, and uh, it's pretty messy. But we'll see you at the next Oh, look. Cat. See you at the next one. Hey, guys. Dug the china for this one. Came in like a penny, but really deep. Door decoration or something, maybe. It's made of brass. Also got a few other little things. Got the uh, framework for an oil lamp. It's pretty ornate. So I figured I would keep it. Bunch of other odds and ends. Marble. Lots of surface finds, but uh, only one coin so far. So I'm going to keep going. I got a little bit of time left, so I'll let you know if I find anything else. Hey guys. Got a tiny, tiny little coin here. And it's, it's definitely a coin. Um, it's a Vicky. At first I thought it was like a half real. But anyway, it probably, this probably won't focus anyway. The sun has gone in behind the, the mountain there. So anyway, that's a Vicky fish scale. First silver of the day. Sweet deal. See you on the next one. Muscapol. A hunt just wouldn't be complete without a musket ball. There you go. On to the next one. Here's another one right on the surface. Oh, sorry, just let me get this turned right here. Ooh, it's a 36, the old style penny. Yeah, if there was a dot on that, that'd be worth some big bucks. Pray for a dot, folks. Daddy needs a new pinpointer. All right, folks. Next hole. Well, it's not a hole. Just look at that straight on the surface, and that looks to be a large copper. It it was ringing up as a copper. Oh yeah. Yeah. Definitely a large copper. Um, get some water on it, and I'll be right back. Alright, so, I can see Penny Token on there. Right up at the very top. Anyway, you probably can't. Doesn't like to go in macro. I don't know what its problem is, but... Time for a new phone. Alright guys, I'll see you on the next one. Next find, fired pistol ball. Cool. Hey guys, here's a wrap up for that beach hunt. That was kind of neat, I've never been on that side. And uh, the tide was coming up, so I didn't get much of a chance to uh, to get down to the low, low tide mark. I missed it by like 45 minutes, and that's significant there. Um, Bay of Fundy, we have the, the highest tides in the world. Anyway, um, got a frame for uh, an oil lamp. It's kind of neat. Haven't found one of those ones before. And then I have this cool, I don't know if it went on a door or something, but it's really nice. If I could pick all that black stuff off of there, that'd be beautiful. Eh? I think it's stamped. 
Don't know how old it is. Turn of the century, maybe? You know, uh, pocket watch parts. Couple of buckles here. Probably horse tack. This one here looks a little bit older. And I got this what's it. No idea what it is. I thought it might have been like a hammer on a gun. I have no idea. Anybody knows, let me know. Then I got this piece, brass, flipped it over, patented August 17th, 1875. Maybe for a lock plate or something. Eyeball find the doorknob. Seen better days, huh? And got a couple of marbles. It's kind of a shiny black iridescent one. Not that old. This one here is a little bit older. It's broken though. It's got a really nice color to it. And I believe they call it a pontal if it has the, the little nipple there where it was blown. And there's one. The crack almost broke it right off, but it's there. So that's an older one. On to the co Oh, yeah, right. Before on to the coins. Fired pistol ball. It's seen better days, too. And a musket ball. Never hunt that beach without finding a musket ball or two or more. Got a coin here. Large copper. Like, really big copper. And there's there's a bust on it. I just can't tell. It might be Vicky. I mean, the... There's no way of telling. The other copper I have, it's a half penny token. And that one's pretty easy to see. You can see the half penny token. And when you flip it over, get it orientated right here. Um, It's a province of Nova Scotia. You can see the N O V A S C roached. What can you expect though from you know being in the salt water and rolling around in that sand for 175 years? And This penny, it's one cent, it's a 1936. No dot, it's a Canadian small cent, the old style small cent. If there was a dot on that, it would be worth some cash. Oh well, and then one of my favorite finds today. If it'll go into macro, you'll be able to see it pretty clear. It may not. There she is. There's Vicky. So that's uh, pre-1901. I thought I saw a date on it. There is a date at the very bottom but the chances of seeing it are slim. Probably won't get a date on it. More than likely it's an 18, it's an 1800 fish scale. We call them fish scales in Canada because they're so small. They're tiny little coins. Uh, five cent piece, isn't it silver? I'll put it here next to a regular size penny and you'll get the idea of just how small these things are. Yeah, and then that big coin, I'm pretty sure that that's a full penny token or just a regular penny because it is bigger in size from the half pennies. So that's about it, guys. I can't wait to get back there and try the low tide. But anyway, thanks for looking. Good luck out there and happy hunting.